Trail rock stars Mike Costigan here giving you a backstage pass into the world of selling Arios. Today I'm at something that we affectionately call in the Ario business a POS. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay as I take you up to this real beauty if you haven't figured out what I mean by POS I promise you you're gonna get it soon. Let's just take a little walk around the outside and let's notice some of the really really quick and easy things that shouldn't be missed. I'm gonna look for safety items. Now this guys, this is an example of a really bad REO property. I've seen worse, but this one, she's falling to pieces. Look at his siding. Actually coming off the house, probably kicked my foot right through it. Piece of junk. Phone books, hey. Yeah, good use. Look at his gutters, hey. That's what you do. It's a planner, and you just pack it up with garbage bag. Here's a good fix. Wonderful. Wonderful house. Now let's walk around the side here. You notice the driveway? Severely, severely cracked. Huge drop off here. I'll tell you what, looking at this house, this is one I think the owners were better off letting go into foreclosure than tackle themselves. You can see severe cracks, drop offs. Whoa, hell! Oh, almost fell and killed myself. Holes in the deck. Deck literally falling to pieces. There's no flashing. I'm just pointing out everything to you because these are things you really should be noting to your asset manager and your clients as you're walking around houses like this. When you got no flashing, siding's going to rot even more. This deck is real flimsy. I shouldn't even be walking on it. But for the sake of showing you, I'm going to take you all around this house. More phone books, hey? People like to yap. You'll notice just the siding, really completely shot on this house. This is one of those that I think damage is so extensive it's not really worth a rehab. Your AMs are going to want to know is this house worth you know doing some fixing up getting it ready for the market or should we just cut the price and get it down as is. Old rotten air conditioner just falling to absolute pieces. No support under the patio here. Mold everywhere. Just disastrous backyard. Gutters again. Roof I'm sure is completely shot. See if we can find any more wonderful surprises. Oh, ho! Oh. Look at this siding. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gets even better. We're talking major rehabs here, guys. The eyesore of the neighborhood needs to be taken care of immediately. Okay, let me get you inside this house. Let's see what we discover inside. Whoa! She's a beauty. Carpet completely buckled. Bow. Beautiful, huh? This is a 70s house. As you can see this house is just totally, totally upside down. And again, you should take note when you're walking through these houses. The things that I'm going to look for really are the major repairs, things that absolutely need to be taken care of in the house. I'm going to see the Moisture stain on the ceiling, which is indicating this is an outside wall. Probably have some sort of roof leak. Whew. This baby, we've obviously got water or some insects tearing up the subflooring. Probably should note that. I mean, you want to report everything you see like this to the asset manager. But uh, again, I'm going to look for severe problems that are really just the emergency items on this house that really need to be taken care of because as far as everything else goes, yeah, sort of a wasted effort. Uh, you can see it's just terrible everywhere. Flooring torn up in the bathroom, cracked mirrors. Now this is interesting to me. This is a vacant house. Yeah, we've got some water penetration on an interior wall, which tells me again somewhere overhead we've got a ceiling problem. 
a roof leak. Carpeting shot. Doors off. This is I'm a POS. Ah! Right behind that laundry room. Look here. Isn't that beautiful? There's a the source of our water. Now this, this is something, as bad as the condition of this house is, we need to get this reported. This needs to be taken care of right away. Uh, you can obviously notice the spread of mold here. Uh, this is obviously a health hazard. Uh, normally, as a general rule, when it gets to be about 100 contiguous feet, it will be repaired. In this case, roof needs to be done because this is just asking to grow to 100 contiguous feet. Let's take a look, see if we can find any further evidence of roof damage. Uh, we've definitely got some more water issues where this tile has peeled up. We'll go look in the closet. Aha, there it is again. More mold. The black nasty kind. Whew! This baby's got it all. And she could be yours. Wouldn't you love it? Okay. Back downstairs. Let's take it down to the lower level. Again, we're noticing same issues. Water spots throughout the house. Now this is the lower level. This indicates to me probably a plumbing leak. Even further, the carpet has been pulled up, which tells us there's been some moisture here. More water stains. More mold. Completely mold covered here. Even holes. Whole ceiling is now falling out of this house. We've obviously had some sort of plumbing leak. Mold everywhere. This one's getting close to requiring full mold remediation. But we'll leave that up to the client. Carpet I'm stepping on is completely wet at this point. You'll see the dryer vent is pulled through. We've got a hole to the outside of the house. Needs to be immediately sealed. Furnace, forget it. Shoo! Total disaster area, this place. So, again, here, guys, I'm going to report all the damage just for the sake of reporting it because these things, you always want to report every little detail. Some companies, Fannie Mae, for example, my rep likes to rehab about 80% of the houses. When he's done, this place would look like a brand new house. A lot of these companies, a lot of the clients, they're going to look at a house like this and they're going to say, just way too much work, not worth what you're going to get out of it in return. But we do need to take care of health hazards like mold. Again, I don't believe we're at 100 contiguous feet by any means. But we've got a situation where there's active leaks, obviously, and that mold is just going to grow. So that's going to be my real recommendation on this house, is to come in, let's get the mold knocked out, get the roof repaired. Seriously, probably just a patch job. Drop the price on this thing next to nothing. Let's get it moved and out of here. There's even mold up on the insulation. Kind of spreading like crazy. Oh, spider web. Don't like those. Whole closet back here. Tough to see, but there's mold now coming through the paint. I would venture to say this whole lower level behind the paint on the sheetrock is just probably loaded with mold. And then here, whoo, smells nice. Whoo, carpeting pulled up. We've actually have an unsecured door here. It's a joke. Gap between the windows, both sides, even have leaves coming in. Anyway guys, have you figured out what POS is? It's a piece of something and it ain't something. Alright, Mike Costigan giving you REO Rockstars a backstage pass into the life of selling REOs. And may all your REOs be as beautiful as this one. I'll talk to you next time.